Okay, so I'm not dead. I didn't get any answers. So this all might have just been a very big waste of time. Which I will never, ever admit this injury. <sighs> Good thing I like climbing. Oh, thank Amir. You're all right. How did it go? Starting to think. Sindri, I told you, I could handle it. But I don't think she's gonna help us. Uh, where's your necklace? Huh? Oh! I was thinking and I, uh, got rid of it. She took it, didn't she? Uh... Today was your lucky day. So, tell me, how did it feel to run on chaos? I... I just fixed that! The Alpha! I've still got my bag of tricks. If you need me, I'll be standing back here. Give me a second! Get out of here before something else tries yeah, to kill us. Yeah, good idea. Hate to bring it up, but are we telling your dad about this? Since you've come clean and all. No way. He'd kill you. Right. Well, speaking of coming clean, I need your opinion on something. Something I've kept from my brother for a long time. Oh. I'll tell you on the way back. Come on. Do they ever quit? Okay, back to Alphine Tower. You were saying? Long before you were born, there was an accident at the forge. Rock died. I couldn't accept it. I went to the Lake of Souls in Alfheim to steal him back. Legions of souls tried to stop me. I can still feel them crawling all over my skin. Thing is, I could only get three of his four soul parts back. Sindri. Brock just thought he got knocked out. I've been lying to him ever since. It's been even for me lately. Really? Now?
have to tell him. He has a right to know. Anyway, you did a good thing. You saved Brock's life. I caused trouble. No. I made a choice. One that wasn't mine to make. What do you mean, a choice? I... I couldn't be alone. The other dwarves, when they saw him, they shunned us. So we left. Made our own home. Well, you can't change the past, but it doesn't have to be who you are. Let's go home before Father wakes up. That might be the best idea you've had all night. Trey. Trey? It's an... Shut up. So I'm not allowed to give you a nickname? Is that what that was? <laughs> Whatever, Loke. Nope. That was worse. Ugh. And I heard it when I said it. All right. Shall we? I hate coming home empty-handed. After Tyr was such a failure, just now, wanted to- Now hang on, little Jotun. Tyr may not be everything you expected, but a failure? You saved him from a terrible fate. That's not nothing. And hey, maybe he'll be some help to us yet. Maybe. But Father's not gonna go along with this forever. He's probably already got our next hiding place all picked out. Well, let's not make it worse by getting caught. When we get there, I'll cover our tracks at the gateway and slip around back, and you... Just act natural, but quickly. Certain the giants would not counsel war. I said that they were wise. In my experience, that goes with being peaceful. Oh, little brother! Told you we needn't worry. Atreus, where have you been? Peeing? Hope you're all hungry! I could eat. Is everyone as well rested as I am? Be right down. Is this sausage? Uh, sure. Why not? I remember food tasting better. <sighs> I suppose you'd like to try cooking for this lot. I accept. What? <sighs> Atreus, who are planning our next move? Oh, so. Where are we going? Alfheim. Home of the elves. Alfheim? You hate Alfheim. Why would we move there? Move there? No, oh, we are seeking information. The shrine of Groa, young one. Your father tells me you found it there. Groa? The knowledge keeper? Oh, maybe there's a secret there I can unlock. Aye. You better than the seer who saw everything. I wasn't sure you, um... Never mind. That's great. I'll find. Hey! Don't go forgetting this what'll get you there. You know what? I'm gonna build a bigger table. <laughs> More for me. Here, you're really up for coming with us? I am. Whenever you're ready. Well, whenever your father's ready, I should say. If my counsel might help you towards the answers you seek, 
It's the least I can do to repay you. Plus, I think it will do me well to see the light of Elfheim again. Hmm. That elf light is some good shit. So, where'd this plan come from? Oh, from Mimir, of course. I was merely asking how you found me, and he explained the secret prophecies inside the Yodnar shrines. Fascinating. From there, we sent you taking stock of which shrines we'd seen, at which point your father recalled finding drawers outside the Temple of Light. And now that we can actually go to Alfheim, the prudent course of action became self-evident. Nary a last step for the world's smartest man. Even without feet, if you'll forgive the levity. I was always fond of her talks, you know? Aye. And it's good to see you a free man again, old friend. And thanks to you as well, Brock. These clothes do better than I deserve. Darn straight! And never mind what Brock had to trade the landlord to get that Intrasil seed for you. The landlord? He's not the landlord! <laughs> uh, okay. Right behind you. I'll meet you at the gateway presently, friends. Excuse me, sir. Mind if I take a little peek at you? I promise I'll be brief. My goodness, what a strapping physique. Capable of an astounding variety of acts of violence, I imagine. What is happening? Uh, this must be the squirrel that tends the world tree. That delectable aroma. Could it be? Pardon the intrusion. Mm. Ah, yes. Amber resin. Delightfully nutty with a hint of squidding. No. Not one for gastronomic expiration, I see. Wait, if you're Radit Hosker, why are you so different when we summon you for help? It's a long story. <laughs> but you are correct. I am indeed Radit Hosker. The one you know as Radit Hosker is merely one of my spectral aspects. And the particularly nasty one at that. I consider him so far removed from myself that he's practically a different person. Speaking of, bitter? Would you like to come out and see your friends? Back off! I'm busy! I suppose that was to be expected. Anyway... Ooh. Now that I've polished off all this resin for you, would you like the seed back? It is the seed. Indeed. A seed of Yggdrasil, to be precise. Since my dwarven tenants performed their little reconfiguration, You'll need seeds like these to open up new destinations on my tree. <laughs> Your tree, huh? Yes, my tree. Here, let me show you. Perhaps as we travel, you can tell me the tale of your prior visit to the Land of the Elves. Sure I can. Alfheim was the first time we ever realm traveled using your temple. Freya tried coming with us, but Odin cast a spell on her. She can't leave Midgard. That's terrible. So then we fought our way through an army of Dark Elves to get to the you light. You interfered in the Elf War. Not by choice. 
We sought to fill our Bifrost, and they attacked us. And the Dark Elves were covering it with their sticky hive stuff. When we freed it, Light Elves came back. Things seemed better in Alphon. <laughs> Did they now? Sure, where the temple is from here, but that's where we'll find Groa Shrine. Broken history. Aye, not exactly an easy fix for that. I see the elves continue their war. Yeah, so much for things being better in Alpha. <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. Thimble Winter hit Alfheim hard. No. Storms have plagued Alfheim's deserts long before Thimble Winter. <sighs> Hold on. I hear something out there. Something big. It's in pain. Our goal is at the temple, not in the desert. <gasps> there. The Temple of Light. Groa's shrine is at the top. Freyr never bothered returning to Alfheim, did he, Mimir? Aye, no. I assumed the fate of his own realm took precedence. Wait, Freya's brother? <laughs> yes. Cut from a different cloth, that one. There's a barricade up ahead. What are those shiny rocks? Twilight Stone. A rare material that can take millennia to form. Majestic, isn't it? Occasionally, the light of Alfheim will bind to a rock and crystallize, growing like mo- Oh! I didn't know it could do that. Oh! Very clever. he involved? Long ago, Freyr of the Vanir traveled to Alfheim, where he discovered a once beautiful land devastated by war. Using his divine powers, he set about cultivating a tenuous peace among the elves. Did you mention how that peace fell apart as soon as he left? I was getting to it. You hear that? Oh, no. That's enough, please. You don't need to do this. We don't want to hurt you. We do not have a choice. Behind you! Incoming! We're the ones who freed the light. Come on, Most unfortunate. They attacked us. More will follow once we're inside. Is there truly no other way? Not like they're giving us much of a choice. So your father said. I'm just naive, I suppose. No. Just an optimist, old friend. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. Didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for something. I'll go first. Atreus, let me know when I've reached halfway. 
So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father, now you go. Unfortunately for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah! And here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the light. Solid light. Guess some things don't change. <laughs>